Hello, this is Ripon Ochan Chapel from WPT Mart once again. And in today's episode, we will see how Contact Form 7 multi step form works. So, in our uh, in our one of our videos, we have discussed about how Contact Form 7 works. And uh, today, uh, we will have discussed about how multi step form for Contact Form 7 works. So, there are two plugins on this multi step form. One is this one, uh, the multi step uh, for contact form 7, and this one is by Ninja Team. And another one is uh, this one, uh, contact form 7 multi step form, that is by Wavehead LLC. So, uh, between comparison of these two plugins, I have selected this one, uh, this uh, multi step for contact form 7. And uh, this one's uh, making this uh, step form for contact form 7 by using this one is a little bit easier than this one. Than this one, this uh, contact form 7 multi step form by Webhead LLC. So this one is better by the Ninja team. So we'll check how this one is going to work for our website. So if I copy this one and if i will uh, place the url in the description if i copy this one and go here and click on add new plugins and search it here then we'll see it in number six multi step for contact form 7 by ninja teams so i'll click on install now and after completing the installation i'll click on the activate button so after that i will go on this contact forms and in here, I will edit this uh, con uh, contact form one, and I will open it in a new tab. And here it is the first look of our contact form seven. Now, uh, if we don't install the uh, multi-step form plugins, then this step this thing will not comes. And you can see here the contact form seven multi-step pro. The pro version uh, will give the look like this one, as you can see here the personal details as this step bar that will come with the pro version but in free version that pro things will not come here so if you like that uh, like this one here we can check the demo here so if i open it in a new tab then you will see the live demo with the premium version so that premium version will work like this huh? with the step form but uh, without the uh, uh, pro version, it will work like only, uh, you know, without this step, stepping things. So, we'll check that how the, the, that things works. Na? So, in uh, the step one, we are having uh, your name, your email and subject and then your message. Na? So, we'll uh, divide it, these things into some steps and uh, make it like a step version. So, in the next button, like uh, we are having... Uh, a form and uh, in that form we are only taking in the first uh, first step we will take only the names so uh, the next button that will be next and this this uh, label text that's that all things all things will be not there only the name we will take that from here so i'll cut it from here and i will make another uh, click on here as you can see the plus icon and in the step two i will make it to next again and in the step two, I will paste it here. And in the step one, I don't want to give the submit button because I don't want that the submit button will uh, need here. I want that it will go on the next level. And after the next level, the step two will come. And in here, I don't need the submit button also. Okay. In here, uh, the user will give only the email. And in the third level, I will uh, just cut it from here. And in the third level, we want that the user will give their subject and their uh, message uh, to the user. So, uh, the, here will be the back button and we will give a submit button here. So, if I click on the submit, then the label text will be submit form. And I don't need uh, anything here. So, I will click on the insert button here and I will click on the save button. So the additional, uh, the initial step that has been completed. Now we'll go and make a new page, and we'll check that how the look is. So I'll click on here with add new page, 
and I will say here contact form multi step multi step and I will take the shortcut from here copy it and in the editor I will write shortcut and I will paste it here and give the publish button and if I view the page then I will see that uh, what is the look right now so the your name button and the next button so I will put my put my name Ripon okay then I will click on the next button and in email I will put a demo email here and I will give another uh, next click here and in here I will give the subject subject that want to contact with you contact with you and some some message from me okay and the text that you want to go so I, I am giving some demo text here and I will click on here the submit form button and it is saying that thank you your message has been sent now if I go to my email and check that is the mail working or not so if I go on my gmail and uh, it will go on the spam folder so i'll go on the spam and uh, you see here from the wordpress want to contact with you as you can see the name so you can see the subject and the message body that i have put and the email you can see here so it is functioning properly now we'll check some multi-step settings uh, of the uh, uh, of this plugin so I will click on the multi-step setting from here you can change the back button color the next button color and you can auto scroll to the top button add and uh, return uh, first step as you can see here uh, after completing the step I have written into the first step as you have seen in, uh, in when I submit the form then it has returned to my first step again and um, the transition effects that is in also pro version and the progress bar that i have told you so in the first uh, uh, time that if i want this progress bar like one or two or like three then this one is also the uh, pro version of this one and you can edit this if you have the pro version of this uh, contact form 7 multi-step plugin so that's it that's how the con uh, this uh, contact form multi step form works uh, and in the forms in here if you want an uh, uh, more things you can do that now uh, suppose you uh, beside the bes uh, beside the name you want to give some last name or your in the step 2 you want to more some more information you want to give some drop down menu you want to give some uh, acceptance button or radio buttons that will depend on your uh, form that how how many forms do you need in in your every step so you can build it from here easily so thank you very much see you in our next episode